Subunit 2.3, Approaches to Teamwork. So the goal of developing a team is to create a culture of collaboration by explicitly rewarding collaboration traits. So you've all been part of a team at some point, and you know you're always looking for developing a team where people can be uh, uh, honest with each other, receptive to other people's ideas. There's integrity where everyone can be trusted, consistency in how messaging is done between leaders and and people on the team, sharing between team members and respect. And that's really, you know, a key to good system engineering is kind of encouraging those attributes. So teamwork principles, uh, adapting team principles will help build a more productive and positive experience. So using those things we just talked about and and making sure they're part of your team, it's not only going to make sure that everyone on the team feels like they've been uh, uh, recognized for their contribution, but also that, again, your goal as system engineers, you're trying to make sure that that final product is going to be uh, coming together on time and on budget. I think a project team can be successful if the people trust one another. And whether we trust one another depends a lot on history, whether we've worked together successfully before, also in how our management structure is set up so that uh, we know that our management will support us working together constructively. So uh, that's uh, why good contracts and good uh, working relationships are so important. Uh, I think in our team for the James Webb Telescope, uh, the working level engineers and scientists work beautifully together because we trust each other to do the right thing if we can. And you see this develop in a meeting when people come forward and say, well, I, can, I think I could solve that problem. Or uh, alternatively, the scientists will say, I don't think you had to solve that problem. How about we think of it a different way? So we earn our trust with each other by doing things together and a uh, pretty important part of the process. So some of the principles, these, these teamwork principles include uh, creating an atmosphere of professional expectations, trust, and mutual respect, staffing leadership positions with team players. So this is, again, leadership being system engineers and project managers and, and roles like that, uh, focusing on outcomes, making sure that everyone is, uh, is looking towards that final goal and, and focused on the same outcomes, uh, cooperating with each other, making sure that everyone's working together, uh, healthy teaming that defines roles and responsibilities where there's no conflicts where maybe two or three groups are doing the same thing because they haven't been given clear direction, and ensures that uh, teams are properly sized for the task or for the project. I've seen both teams that are undersized where people get frustrated with the amount of work required and the, the lack of uh, people to be able to accomplish it, and I've seen oversized teams where people don't feel like they've all been given clear roles and, and maybe don't feel like they're able to contribute as they would want. My most challenging teamwork situation has been the James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, between you know, uh, all the U.S. contractors involved, the complexity of the mission itself, our foreign, uh, foreign teammates, between that diversity and the mission and the technology itself, that has, this has been the most complex and the most challenging and you know, uh, the most rewarding. I wanted to do a mission like this since I was six years old, so <laughs> this ain't a complaint. I think it's, it's a hard thing to think about what is the most challenging teamwork situation I think the ones that cause distress are the ones where we see that people are unable to work together in a cooperative way. And so I don't really want to tell stories about those uh, historical events, uh, but I know uh, once in a while we find a group that just basically refuses to work with another group. And uh, sometimes that's very upsetting because you say, well, they could have worked so well together if they would try. Um, but that's the category of things that bother me and where I say, well, if that's happening, maybe we just have to have another path to get what we need to do. Um, because you can't compel people to be different from the way they are. Uh, so if you're the manager or the lead scientist, you have to say, well, okay, if that's a problem, I've got to find another path. Now click on the icon to read, what is your Myers-Briggs type indicator? Making sure to complete the cognitive style inventory at the end so you'll be prepared for the next subunit.